Uh, welcome to the first Purple Mash lesson after Easter. We're going to be looking at the aeroplane activity. Kelsey is going to be my assistant in this regard. Kelsey, welcome to your first audio video with me. We wish you all the I'm best Kelsey. and do you want to just <laughs> introduce awesome. yourself? All right, so let's get started. Whenever you go into Purple Mash, the first thing you do is go to To Do and let's open the To Do section. And you'll see that there is something waiting for you. There's two activities. One's the email one and the other one's To Go. So you've got two activities waiting. So let's start off with the To Go one. Kelsey, okay. if you could just press the start button to begin that one. Okay, so we've, we're loading up, and you'll see that some of the activities are really easy, some of them a little bit harder. We're going to go through the challenges. There's a number of challenges that need to be done. So we're going to press the challenge button. That's correct, Chelsea. And we'll start off with number one. I'd always suggest that you start off with one, go up two, three, and move up that way, because sometimes the simple activities give you the knowledge to do the more complicated stuff. Coding is like that, and Purple Mash seems to be designed in that way. So, Kelsey, you okay. quite well. Right. Guide the fish to the treasure chest. This one's pretty simple. You basically, you are that fish, and you've got to get to the treasure chest. And you'll see this little white blob over there. So, Chelsea, let's go through that. You can even move across there. So, we're going to move to get to the treasure chest. And you've got to just, once you get to the treasure chest, yes. you've achieved your destination. Yes. Now, some of these activities you'll see, they will repeat. It says, you've done it, try another. Don't press the OK button, because that'll take you out of this. Press the cup to show another challenge. And it says, drive the car to the bank and carry on, Kelsey. OK, so, and the hospital. So we've got to go to the bank and then the hospital. So when you do this one, remember you can turn and press the number and that'll count how many steps you take in a direction. Press a number, count how many blocks, one, two, three, and we've got to get to that little white part next to the bank. And press on the number when you've counted the amount of blocks. So we're calculating the distance, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like you were one out, should have been seven. Okay, now when you've done this one, you've got to go to the bank and Kelsey then would go to the hospital. But we're not going to finish it. We're just basically showing you you go there. You could choose any direction to get now to the hospital. And then the next challenge will come up. Challenge after that, which is the third one. So we're going to just show you how that's done. <coughs> to the lighthouse. And it says, visit the four islands in order and then go to the lighthouse. So you've got to go to all four islands and then the lighthouse. Is Your final destination is, Kelsey, where? Where do we go right at the end? Where do we go right at the end? When are we going to finish off our journey? Again. The lighthouse. Brilliant. Go click on the OK button. You guys are really amazing the way you've dressed today because it's book um, character today. And Kelsey, you dressed Latin. as who? Brilliant. So it's going to be wonderful because you have this opportunity to do a YouTube video on Book Carrick today and you'll always remember that you were dressed like that. There's our boat. We've got to go to all four islands and then finally to the lighthouse. So let's start going just to that one over there. Now when you do this one, it's a little bit different. You can press that and the number and that could go like, for example, if you wanted to go to there, you could go one, two, three, and you would go over there. If you went diagonal block three, do that, Kelsey. Press the diagonal block, this one. And we just show the class and go three. And it's moving diagonally three blocks. And then we could say down two. So down would be going that way. And two. And you basically can understand how it works. So the first objective... Kelsey, first objective is the first destination, first island visited, you've achieved that. So you still have to go there, 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 and there, and finish off at the lighthouse. So now we're going to go to the next challenge. We're just showing you guys how to do it. Always remember in Purple Mash, you've got those videos you can watch, challenges, and we are now going on to... Levertail. Little Red Riding Hood, I think it is. Get Little, little Red, Red Riding, Riding Hood read it to, us, Kelsey. to Granny's Cottage. Don't get her eaten 
on the way. So there are obviously other things that can eat her. And we're probably sure that there's going to be a wolf because the story always, Little Red Riding Hood has a wolf. You can go ahead, go okay. And we'll have a look. Aha, there is a wolf. You can see the wolf over here. So we don't want to bump into that wolf. If we bump into that wolf, we're out. Now, I just wanted to show you guys how it works. If I go fall, if I wanted to get in line with this princess, so many of you are dressed like this princess. A one, two, three, four. I would go like this. I'm moving in a horizontal direction towards the right. So that would be this one. And then how many blocks do I need to move? So I'll drag it over there and look, it goes green and release. And then how many blocks if I want to be in line with the princess? Let's count again. One, two, three, four. I would drag, drag the four. And it goes green. So it goes in the right-hand direction, four. And if I want to play, I'm going to press that button over there. You've got to try get to this house over here. Don't hit against the dragon. It could be a dinosaur, I'm not sure. And the wolf. Because if you do, that means you basically wouldn't have won the game. Kelsey, you think you can do that one easily? Okay, good luck. I'm going to be watching when you do actually do it. After we've done the tutorial, we'll do a video and put you trying to get <laughs> no. to the end. And we'll just record that at the end. But let's go show them the next challenge. So, if you guys, if you want to go to the next challenge, challenges, Kelsey, you can click on that one. We've gone to number four. Number five is over there. It's the flowers. Make the bees visit the poppies. And many of you might know that the poppies are a symbol of... In the First World War, these flowers are, um, you'll see, of war veterans. So we've got to go there and there. Don't bump into the other flowers. Well, it doesn't say you can't, but it just says you've got to go to those flowers. Look, interestingly yep. enough, Kelsey, if you look at this, do you know what this is? Okay, that's a loop. So those of you who are familiar with code might know it. So if I wanted to go like in a square, I'll just show you. If I go right in a right direction, Kelsey, drag the right button and make it fall. So drag that that arrow, it goes green, and make it fall. Four, we're going to move a four there. And then we're going to go up, fall. So up, fall. Because you guys know that that'll make a square. And bring in a four next to it. And then we'll go left, fall. Some of you have done two logo will know this. You've got to just wait till it goes green. Drag it and then watch when it goes green and then bring in the four. I'll move mine out of the way. Drag the four into that space. I think you have to go really over the four and make sure you got the number. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. Oh, is it not working? Okay, let's just try again. I'm not sure why it's not working. Three. Uh, maybe because I'm moving you try Chelsea uh, Kelsey I've moved my mouse away from you but basically what I was going to show you that if you go and you change this to a higher number then it could go four it'll make a square and it'll go round and round and round that's called a loop in computer code this is called a loop so you can practice with that if you want to but you've got to try get to these poppies the two poppies and try get back to your destination let's go to the next challenge yes are we going to the are you still there Ch Kelsey it's funny it's that it's not we, really working I'm not getting I'm clicking on you nothing's no. happening is it working for you Let's just make everything a bit smaller. Let's try refresh. Okay. We're just going to refresh it. Sometimes when your computer is stuck, refreshing the screen helps. So let's go to new challenge. Good. It's working. So now we're going to six. Try that. If you're ever stuck in, in Purple Mash, just travel along the flight path to get to the spaceman. Kelsey, so we've got to get to the spaceman. Now look at this one. It's a little bit more difficult. You've got to go there. You can make it easy for yourself, but that's for grade one and two. I would suggest that you guys either use these two. 
in the and try to do it. I think you won't have a problem, but you've got to move to get to the spaceman. Where exactly is the spaceman? There. So you can see there's a little white ball or white patch to indicate where you've got to go. Okay, let's go to the next one. And then we're going to record Kelsey when she's doing it at the end. And we're going to... Definitely. Oh, the cheese. We know that there'll be a mouse. If there's always cheese, there's a mouse. Get to the cheese by finding your way through the right maze. I, I can gather there's going to be a mouse there. All right, so they're correctly assumed. I thought there would be a mouse, and it is. So you've got to get to the cheese. I've even forgot uh, we the... We need to get through Kelsey, the maze what they say and we get must to do? the cheese. I say, just got to get to the cheese. You didn't have to go anywhere else. Just get to the cheese. And it's pretty much as it was before. You can change the the colors of your of this if i go yellow and i move up look at this you'll see one moving up and watch the yellow will go yellow you can even make it very thick if i go like that look it's a nice thick block so you can make it lay up a, a pathway like that yeah i think Kelsey, one more eight. i think we're almost finished i can see some people are dying gone eight eight is the last one Oh, win a race. This is the real, I, I thought that was the most challenging one. It says, drive the car around the track by repeating the turn 90 degrees. Click on one time to change or many times they repeat. So it's a repeat loop. Guys, in computer coding, you'll see they use loops a lot. So your car's over here. You've got to make the car go there, there, and there. And keep on going around the track. So you got to, if you wanted to make it go like down... I'll make it go three, so you guys can just get the hang of it. Down three. If I go down three, left, uh, right three. I'm just going to show you. And then you guys can carry on with it. I think you should put the number in first, Kelsey. That's maybe what I made a mistake. Me too. I don't know. My, it's, I'm struggling. But if you... What you will do is try and make your car go round and round and round. You're going to use the repeat loop over here to do that. Okay, we're going to record Kelsey when she's doing it at the end. But you guys go through all those challenges and let's see how well you do. Kelsey, thanks so much for sharing in this uh, YouTube video. Aladdin. I forgot who you dressed as. Okay, guys, can we just give Kelsey a hand? Uh, Genie and Aladdin. Okay, guys, can we just give Kelsey a hand? And thank you for listening so beautifully. You guys have done a marvelous job. And while we put the video together, we'll, we'll, we'll just record the end of what Kelsey is going to be doing over here. Okay, guys, good luck with the challenge.